Are you ready for the new Uncharted movie? Cause I sure am fucking ready for this. Tom Holland, you better do your thing in this movie. Cause I am so fucking ready for this shit, bro. <laughs> now, I want to start off and say that I am a huge Uncharted fan. Uh, hey Nadine, great to see you again. Okay, Mango, Mango. What are you on about? And ironically, I got into Uncharted during quarantine. So right when they announced that New York State was getting locked down, I was like, fuck, I don't know what to do. I don't like, I wasn't working at the time. So I was like, yo, what the fuck are we gonna do? Like, what the fuck am I gonna do? So what I did, what any normal person would do, I went to GameStop. And after I went to GameStop, I bought all the Uncharted games. See that, bam, bam. Got the collector's edition, got all three of them. And I bought all of them for 20 bucks. All together, yes, you heard me. 10 bucks for three games and 10 bucks for this one. So I was like, yo, I'm about to live it up with all four games. And yes, y'all making fun of me because I, I, got, I got it for PS4, but niggas, yeah, I got the PS5. You know, don't play with your boy, man. You know my body out here. <laughs> I am disgusted. <laughs> but no, 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 for real, for real, for real. When I got these games, I had no expectations for these games. I always said I always wanted to play these games. So I did what any person would do. I played them. So I started with the first one, Drake's Fortune. Oh my God, that was such a good game. Uncharted 2, Among Thieves. Bro, it just got even better. And then we went to Uncharted 3. Now a lot of people didn't like Uncharted 3. I personally thought Uncharted 3 was fucking amazing. But then, then we got to the main man himself, Uncharted 4. Now when I tell you, this one is my favorite one out of all the franchises, and I think half of us can say that this is the best one, depending on who you ask, it might be 4 or 2, but I think this was my favorite. The way they told this story was fucking amazing, and what I heard is that the, the Tom Holland movie one is going to be based off this one. Now, at first when I heard that, I was kind of like, oh, why would they want to do that? It's like, they want to base the movie off this one, but then I played it. Take my money. Take my fucking money. So, when I got into this one, because realistically, when, when I played the first one, I was like saying like, oh, this is a, like a lot of sci-fi shit. It reminded me of like Far Cry 1, if y'all ever played Far Cry 1. It reminded me of like all the zombie people coming towards you and everything. I see zombie people, but, like the mutant island people, the like, cannibal mountain. Like, you know, what, you know what the fuck I'm talking about? Those niggas. <laughs> but I thought this game was so good. But then when I really thought about it, I'm like, yo, that wouldn't really work for an Uncharted movie. Because people would just be like, this is, this is like fucking, I don't know, this would be like one of the worst movies I've ever seen if that was live action. And, you know, I'm kind of glad they went down this route, though, because this route, the story, is just that they literally said, yo, let's make this, but let's make this young Nathan Drake. Now, I want to say something about the movie. I've never seen the movie. I have not seen it yet. I'm going to go see it the day after my birthday because your boy turns 22 on the 17th of February. So, <laughs> wish your boy happy birthday. I would like to greet you the happy birthday and I wish you the best of everything. When they announced this movie back in the day, right? I didn't really care about Uncharted. Because they first announced that Mark Wahlberg was gonna play it. So I was like, oh, fucking Marky Mark, or Mark Wahlberg. You know, yo, it's about that time to rip for the rhythm and the rhyme. <laughs> I heard about that guy playing it. I was like, oh, Mark Wahlberg's a decent actor. I can get by that. But then I was like, I never really cared for Uncharted at the time. Then they announced that Chris Pratt was gonna play him. And I was like, you know what? Chris Pratt's a good actor. I seen him in um, Guardians of the Galaxy and Parks and Recreation. There you go. That's, I was about to say, I forgot one other role he did. No, I have not seen Jurassic World. Yeah, I'm sorry. Fool this man! No! I was kind of like, okay, I kind of want to see the movies because I was basically saying maybe those movies can make me into a fan. And then they announced Tom Holland. Uh, 20, like back in 2017, when they announced that Tom Holland was going to be young Nathan Drake, I said, Spider-Man is fucking Nathan Drake. I don't know about this one, guys. And keep in mind, he got famous real fast. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to go a little Tom, Tom Holland tangent. But if I've never seen The Devil of All Time, and if y'all see that movie, 
Illusions. Illusions. Blaspheme in the law in your mind and in your heart for some wrong done to you <laughs> And then I saw him in Cherry. Cherry was fucking amazing. Story-wise, a little slow pacing, at, but it was still a good movie. Like, if I'd never seen those two movies, I would have been like, yo, this, I don't think he can do Uncharted. But after seeing those two movies, Tom Holland, you got my vote, brother. And especially I just saw Spider-Man No Way Home, you got my fucking vote, nigga. <laughs> my fucking vote, guy. But this is not why, we're not, this is not a fucking Tom Holland dick sucking contest. This is a Uncharted video because after I played all four of these games, I realized only Nolan North can play this. And for those of you guys who don't know Nolan North, y'all might have heard it. If you're, if you're a game head like me, you've definitely, hold, definitely heard of Nolan North. And I'm gonna play some clips of Nolan North's most iconic roles. So, boom. I did about the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. I admitted to you guys. Held hostage by a group of scientists. At least I think you're scientists. And forced to spend all day in some crazy ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it. <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. I had to help you, Batman. I gave you the opportunity to end this and walk away, but oh no. You had to be the big man. And so do we. We have to take care of our own, by any means necessary. Y'all like those? I know y'all definitely heard him before. Nolan North is one of my favorite voice actors of all time. He's my second above Troy Baker. And I'm gonna do that a whole separate video. So Troy, if you're watching this, yo, I'm a fan, brody. And Nolan, I'm a fan, guys. But, yo, I'm telling you. Oh, and by the way, y'all, Troy Baker's in this game too. Woo, he plays his brother, Sam Drake. See, fuck it. Both of my favorite voice actors in the game. Come on, guys. Don't play with my body like that. I know my fucking voice actors. It's because Uncharted 1 was about Drake's fortune. I mean, that's the title of the fucking game. But, you know, it had such a unique story to it. And then when you play Uncharted 2, bro, when he was falling off the fucking train in the opening, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Then I heard, I think it was J.J. Abrams said, this is the best cinematic opening to anything he's ever seen. And it's coming from a video game. You know how people don't like video games? James Abrams, I think I'm saying it correctly, said that Uncharted 2 was the best cinematic opening he's ever seen. And he's a film director. Top it off to fucking Uncharted, come on. <laughs> and then we get to Uncharted 3. Now Uncharted 3 has the most iconic scene ever, which is the clip that everyone is talking about for the Uncharted movie with Tom Holland falling off the, the fucking pillars. I think they're called pillars, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Uncharted 4. Uncharted 4, my guy. When I tell you that Uncharted 4 had one of the best treasures hunting quests that I've I've ever experienced in a video game because I'm not really a treasure hunt guy. Like I don't really care for those type of movies. But this, this made me want to do it. And the fact that Tom Holland said this movie's based off it, I was like, oh. And then when I saw the trailer to Tom Holland's movie, the the Uncharted thing, I was like, oh shit, that's Uncharted Four. The 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 this like I y'all know what I'm talking about. It's it's literally the end of the game when he finds the treasure. Spoiler for the guy I don't want to play the game. But yeah, it's the literally the fucking end of the game. And I was like, yo, this shit right here? Oh, come on, man. Now, here's my prediction. I got a couple predictions for Uncharted. The movie either gotta start up with Tom Holland like when he's flapping in the wind like this and he's like like that shit, my nigga. That's how the movie gotta start off. And then make us way. Like, you gotta start off like how Uncharted 2 did. So that's what I'm basically trying to say. Like, with him doing like this shit, that's how I gotta start off. And then, like, we'd be like, oh shit, how's he gonna get there? And then it's gonna tell the story and then meet us at the point of him going like. And then, when it combined this element with them trying to find the treasure of the ship and everything, I was like, oh shit, that's the sh this is it right here. So that's my thing. That's my only that's my only thing they have to put in here, which is the opening to Uncharted 2. And then they are gonna um, have to combine that with 
Uncharted 3 when he's falling off the plane, which I thought that was very, very good to play. And I'm not gonna front, I kinda failed that mission a couple times, but you know what I mean? I'm an African gamer. I'm like I said, don't play with your boy, man. See this PS5, my nigga? Come on. Matter of fact, after this, after I've done finished this video, I'm gonna actually play Uncharted 1. I'm gonna play Uncharted 1 to Uncharted. Oh shit. To Uncharted 4. But I don't think I'm gonna beat it by the time my birthday comes. Because my birthday's literally like in two weeks, so. We're gonna have to see how this goes. Ah, my throat, man. I've been fucking talking too much. Nah, I'm excited for Uncharted, so, guys, please, Uncharted, Sony, Naughty Dog, do your thing, because us fans really want to be doing this, and don't think the next Assassin's, the next Assassin's Creed game, whoa, I said that, the next Naughty Dog property is coming out as The Last of Us. I will be watching. <laughs> you gotta like to see you, look bro. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see y'all in the next video. Hope I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace out.